What's up, everybody? It's your boy Jenny back again with another video. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for another web to watch out. And this one is called Vibe Check, man. So I think this one is a comedy. I'm not totally sure. Um, someone told me it was a comedy, but we're gonna go ahead and check it out. And y'all know how we're doing web to watch out. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Everybody, y'all already know the deal. Before we get into it, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you want to take support any further, Patreon link is in the description below. Also, join our Taco Day membership and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video or go live on channel. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. Alone in the void, I vibe. And as I peer out with my mind's eyes, I sense deeply whack vibes calling out from the darkness. Our mission is now clear. The balance of vibelessness must be restored. The weird and lonely souls of the lost need guidance. They need a vibe check. The cosmos are endless, countless feet of stars where none have set foot. There are those that seek only to trample in it. Wait. There are those that seek only to trample it underfoot. But one hero will refuse to heal in the face of defeat. See, I like how they did that. Defeat, D E F E. It remained pure of heart and soul. As soul, as a foot soul. And okay. Whenever there's an evil afoot, it's a, I like the. Okay, there's a lot of foots going on. I've been noticing. All right. Whenever there's evil afoot, you can count on. Nice to feet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Captain Pluto, Space Cadet. Stumper of Evil, Soccer of Jaws, a shoe in to win. The Toad, that stub back. The <coughs> oh, should I keep going or there's more? Vibe check. Look, kid, your name's Yuchi, right? Yes, indeed. I see you've heard of my work. Well, yeah, I recognize you from the other 38 times you pitched a comic idea here. Yeah, I guess I'm pretty persistent, but who's counting? I'm counting. That's my actual job to count. And yet, you've never gotten a call back from us in about a single idea of yours. Do you have any idea why? I remember you saying something about scheduling conflicts. Yeah, no, I was lying. It's because Goss Comics is trying to run a legitimate publishing business here. And having you strolling here every week with your weird ass ideas is bad for business. And honestly, I just can't take another pun or pop culture reference or another monstrosity that you've made, dummy thick. I don't even know what that means. I just know it feels wrong to say. Yo, this man just calling this man name. Don't know what the names mean, but he like, fuck it, this sounds good, so that's what we going with. Well, actually, it's thick with two C's. Very common mistake, but there's a world of difference. No, thanks. Noted. Besides, you guys took the worst animal on the planet, the goose, and created the most beloved comic book hero of all time. So you gotta admit, weird ideas totally sell. And like Goose Man says, the path to purpose is paved with per perseverance. Getting published at Goss is my life's dream. I can't just stop trying, right? Word to the wise kid. Don't take life tips from a man in bird costume. Look, you're young, right? College age, probably living off ramen noodles and angst. Cereal and angst, mostly. Nice, even worse. Let me give you some real life advice. Give up. There's no such thing as purpose. And lying to yourself about that only leads to obsession. That path ends with you going mad and living in events. Begging for validation like old man Mc McGilly Cuddy. Living where? Taken from a guy who realized way too late that he should have given up. Do it while you still can. Huh? What was that? Shh. Shut your face. He's here. In the walls? Waiting? Listening? Whom's exactly? Hey, Sonny. Psst, down here. The fuck is that? The old dunker in the ventilation system. Don't be alarmed. You, uh, you want to read my latest comic pitch? It's called My Ex-Wife is a Blood-Sucking Alien Parasite. 
is based on a true story. They've been kicking me out of here since I was 19, since 1953. But that won't shake old McGillicuddy's shingles. This is my life's dream. So what do you say, kid? I'll pay you to give it a gander. Do you, do you take crypto? Bad, bad old man. Yo, is this, wait, I was about to say, is this man peeing on him? What the hell? I told you I called the cops of Amazon. Your wrinkly nostrils in here again, <laughs> McGillicuddy. You can't impress us freaks forever, pencil pusher. I've just seen things, fool. Scramucci. He has a smoke bomb? He makes them himself. Hit the deck, kid. This man actually made a smoke bomb, bro. Bro, the sprinklers. Damn, he got away. Now do you see what I mean, kid? We got enough persistent weirdos on our hands already. Maybe just do us both a favor and quit while you're behind. Oh, that's fucked up, bro. So much for my path to purpose. Now you whack by detected. I like this, bro. This is funny. This is really funny. We all need some comedy in our lives, man. Well, that was definitely a Hindenburg of comic pitches. And I definitely have a new contender for my most uncomfortable moist bus ride. And on top of that, I couldn't even save my sketchbook after that sprinkler incident. Man, and some of my favorite drawings were in here. Neil Armstrong. Huh? I definitely remember this one being cooler. Hold up. Are all of these ideas more lamer than I remember? I present to you. Grillium Bakespear. Love it. Just not quite what we're looking for. <laughs> This one, President James A. Garfield. Actually, the art isn't bad. Bro. Oh, it's super great. That's just a minor copyright issue. Shrink? Oh, darn. We're having some scheduling conflicts. Oh, man. That guy was right. Maybe I'm just another crazy old coot with a smoke ball waiting to happen. Just quit while you're behind. Oh, poor guy, bro. Legend of Shrelda would have been funnier anyway. Five check. Okay, my guy is walking. And something is about to happen. Yeah, he sucks at landing. Okay. We, we get that understood. Why my guy's leg so big, though? He got a small head. What's going on here? Why am I getting a creepy sense of unnecessary dramatic buildup? Hey, bro. You know what? Your pro you know what your problem is? I beg your pardon? You. Your vibes, bro. Your vibes are off. You like... Right, he like, what? My vibes are off. Dude, my what? He like, right. He like, my what, bro? My vibes are off. What do you mean my vibes are off? What kind of, kind of stuff you, you come crashing down from space? My what is off? Your vibes, bro. They're, where, they're way off. Your energy is exuding cosmic wackiness. Oh, wackiness. You are significantly larger of floats. You must protect your vibes, bro. Calculate every move to resist the forces that seek to distress your vulture. Your third eye must awaken. Cast aside fear and embrace your place within the fabric of the universe. You are intertwined in a cosmic tapestry that they don't want you to see. Who's they? But only you can seize your full potential, bro. That is a destiny you cannot run from. You are immortal. Your body is frail. A noodle life. Hey. And yet, you mortals somehow learn to embrace that fragility and accept the thorns and the rose of existence. They made this up, man. Only to realize, oh, only to release that rose into the crashing waves of oblivion. It is beautifully vibrant, yet incredibly tragic. So many realms left unexplored, dimensional wonders left unveiled, unbeheld, cosmic purposes left unfulfilled. Fortunately, 
I can show you the way. I can guide you along the path of the Vibe Warrior. Come vibe with me, bro. And he's gone. That man walked clean away, bro. Yep. I am now alone. Perhaps he has gone to meditate upon my words. Man, these Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> Yo. This man said, man, these Jehovah's Witnesses are getting creative. Yo. Dead. Dead people. I'm dead. This man say these Jehovah's Witnesses are getting creative. Awaken Dinks. Oh, Dinkus. What? Oedipus Rex. Vibe <clears throat> Congrats, Eugene. You. You're now only six concussions away from the Heisman Trophy. I'm just glad I made my daily quota of painful hijinks before breakfast. Leaves my afternoon free of regular hijinks. Speaking of breakfast, though, I'm absolutely starving. Okay, let's see. Milk, delicious gimmicky cereal, animals, or, or animals. Shout out to the Dragon Ball, Naruto, Demon Slayer reference. Poured at the exact same time to avoid controversy. Perfection. It's honestly comforting, comforting to know that no matter what goes wrong in life, making cereal is the one thing I know I couldn't possibly screw up. Wait. Okay, well, that was weird. I wonder what salutations, my bro. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? What the hell, bro? All right, man. That's it for Vibe Check. That's it for Vibe Check, bro. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like, sub to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about Vibe Check in the comment section below. Also, you guys want to keep up with me, Twitch, Twitter, Discord links. All of that is in the description as well. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>